How's everybody out in YouTube land today? I have pretty much completed the buffalo. I still have to seal it and I gotta put the hanger on the back. But in your in your, the last episode, yesterday's episode, you saw me applying the gold leaf to the sides of it. Now I did have to go over it one more time. There was just a few little spots on it that I had to touch up and I let those dry. The whole thing's dry now. I also touched up the buffalo a little bit. You know, I had some streaks in it from the wood where the dye had soaked into the wood. So I touched those up and let that dry. It's looking fantastic. So now I gotta put the Krylon to it. And there is the Krylon. It's called Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. I got it up to the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the stuff that I get comes from the Walmart. Once in a while I order things from a couple other places, but pretty much I get stuff up to Walmart because I can get it quick, fast, and get it home and go move on. I've shook the can up real good with the Krylon. It's got a little shaker thing in there. You can hear it moving. And so now we're going to put some Krylon to this. And I hold it back from the piece about six inches. And I'll be sure to get the edges because I want the whole thing sealed. Now the instructions for the, this gold leaf said to seal it with the Krylon because the um, gold will tarnish if you don't get it sealed. So I put a nice coat of that on there and now I let that dry. It's going to be a little bit before it's dry. For you, it's going to be instantaneous because the next time I turn this thing on, it's going to be to put the hanger on the back of it. So I will shut off the camera now and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back. We've got this all Krylon and it's bright and shiny and pretty. See how the light's just glistening off of it there? It's looking nice. And on the back of it, I have put my signature. BG-18 and then I've got this piece that I'm going to put on it on the back so that it can be hung up. Now I don't nail these in. I'm not splitting the wood and messing up something after I've done that much work on it. I put the hangers on with E6000. I have not had them fail yet and I don't expect them to. In order to get this centered correctly first you have to find out where the center, turn the Measuring stick the right way. Where the, where is the center of the piece? Now this board measures out here at about five and uh, let's see five and a quarter, just past five and a quarter. If we pull that over just a little bit, make it five and a quarter. Yeah, that'd be about right. And half of that would be say two and a half plus an eighth so there's the center right there get the pin to work there we go I get my measuring stick back out of the way here and we want the center of this oops turn it the other direction so get it right there we go so that the center of it is right there. Now, I'm going to get a little E6000 going here. And what I do here, try to keep this under the camera lens so you can see what I'm doing. I put a little bit on each end of it. Just a little dollop on each end. A little more on there. There we go. Then I turn this so that the the major part of these teeth should be down. And I set it on here and make sure that I've got it so my mark is right in the center of this piece. And try to make sure that I've got it just as even as I can from the top. And that looks real good right there. Then I mash it down to get it a good grip with that E6000 just like that and then I leave it alone <laughs> I don't bother it and let it set up good I'll put the lid back on my 
thing of glue though because I don't want that squirting all over the place what little I got left of that I got to get a new tube so that is it finished up we're not going to touch it now until it sets up good and don't want to disturb it so with that being said this piece is totally finished now and I'll be showing it on my Monday night show at 8 p.m. Eastern Time so you can see it all finished there on the live show and uh, let's see what else do we need to say well I'll tell you go check out my Etsy store this will end up on the Etsy store and you can see all the pretty things that I have up there I've got jewelry I've got artwork I've got dream catchers my soap and oils and some of my woven stuff uh, so there's lots of things to choose from pretty things to be had there on the Etsy store if you want to get yourself something special or if you need to get a gift for somebody right there it's uh, close at hand and I have a twitch channel you can find it it's all one word Brenda G's designs there's no apostrophes no spaces nothing Brenda GS designs all strung together is where I'm at over on twitch and I do shows over there every day and twice on Monday just like I do over on um, YouTube so there you have it. If you're not subscribed to me, please do. And please leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy what I'm doing here. Share it on your social media so everybody gets to enjoy how to be creative. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. And that's Brenda's Crafty. Be like Brenda.